Hello. I'm going to read Adrian Simcox Does Not Have a Horse by Marcy Campbell and Karina Lutgen. Sorry, Karina. Don't know how to pronounce that. And I'll be reading this for Save With Stories. Here we go. Adrian Simcox sits all by himself, probably daydreaming again. And Adrian Simcox tells anyone who will listen that he has a horse. Some kids believe him, but I don't. He lives in town like me. And I know you can't have a horse in town. Where would he put it? I asked Jamie at recess. Jamie said Adrian lives with his grandpa and their house is very small and there's hardly any yard. She said the horse goes to the country sometimes. That's what Adrian said. Ha, Jamie will believe anything. I told my mom about Adrian's horse and how he definitely does not have one. Hmm, she said. And how would you know, Miss Smarty Pants? Because I know Adrian Simcox does not have a horse. Adrian Simcox gets the free lunch at school. His shoes have holes. Kelsey told me her cousin has a horse and it's super expensive. He can't take care of a horse. Adrian Simcox can't even take care of his own desk. Our teacher always says, we must try to be understanding. We have to be patient. But I was tired of being patient with Adrian Simcox and tired of trying to understand why he kept telling everybody he had a horse when he did not. The next day by the swings, he was telling a bunch of little kids about his beautiful horse with its white coat and golden mane, saying she had the biggest brownest eyes of any horse anywhere. So I yelled from the monkey bars, he's lying, Adrian Simcox does not have a horse. Even though I was upside down, I could see that made Adrian Simcox really sad. That night, I told my mom how Adrian was lying about his horse again. And she said, Chloe, it's time to take Chompers for his walk. A little dog is a perfectly normal pet to have it down. Mom walked even faster than usual, so I had to run with chompers to keep up. But when she got to the corner where we always turn left, she turned right. Why are we going over here? I asked. Chompers loved it, but I didn't. All the houses looked like they might fall down. And even though it wasn't trash day, it looked like it was. But Mom kept walking. When someone said evening, she said evening right back. And then I saw him, Adrian Simcox, at a little house down the street. I stopped walking. Chompers kept pulling. That's Adrian Simcox, I said. Yes, I know. I met his grandpa at the back to school picnic. Now come on, said mom. It was the tiniest house I ever saw. It was like half of our house. Mom started talking to Adrian's grandpa and Adrian said, I like your dog. Chompers pulled the leash from my hand and went over and licked Adrian Simcox right on the face. I could see the backyard. It was no place for a horse, that's for sure. I could feel some words coming up in my throat and tangling in there. 
like when I swallowed something and I went down the wrong pipe. You do not have a horse. But I didn't say it because of how Adrian was looking and how it reminded me of when I told those little kids he was lying. Adrian Simcox tossed a ball to me. I caught it. I tossed it back to him. It was kind of cool to see Adrian Simcox smile. So I asked him, is your horse at a farm? And Adrian started talking about his horse with a white coat and golden mane and the biggest, brownest eyes of any horse And then I thought, Adrian Simcox had just about the best imagination of any kid in our whole school. I also thought he had the most beautiful horse of anyone anywhere. The end.